Well, I thought I'd show you what I'm talking about when I talk about fires that come from the bottom of the valley. You see all this, all this devastation here. I even doubt my peas are still there. I was trapping peas there. I think they're still there. I can, I can see them flying around. I think they're still there. Yeah, they're still there. I'm trapping peas there because I want to have my own beehive. I'm tired of buying honey. I want to produce my own honey. I have two of these boxes, one here and there's one down there, uh, in the, just down there on that tree there. And then, but the, the people from the valley down there, you can see the smoke that is still burning. For the past week, we've, had, we've been having these crazy fires all around here, you know, and I think it's, it's, it's crazy and it's dangerous because had I not cleared there and created sort of like a firebreaker, I, I think this fire would have devastated my uh, trees there, my fruit trees there, because one year I did not uh, create a firebreaker there. And then there was a huge fire because that grass grows tall. And then the wind was pushing upwards like this. So all those four trees there, they literally got burned and they literally died and they had to start from scratch to grow to those beautiful bushes they are now tiny little bushes they are but this is the problem we live with every year every year around this time of the year as soon as we are approaching august september these people they create these useless fires well they're useful to them useless to us or to me uh, because they are anticipating the rain that the rain is coming and then when the rain comes, new greener grass will grow and then their cows will have grass to eat. Huh, yeah. Well, anyway, another point that I wanted to point out of this fire devastation, look at this avocado tree. It's withering now. It's, 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 it's gone. It's gone, you know. I, I don't know. I'll keep watering it. I, I don't know if it will grow i don't know if it's dead but it's withering this avocado tree was looking beautiful and i planted it here on purpose strategically because there is this wall here so it was gonna grow tall and then i can just stand up there you know and then harvest avos but yeah well i don't know we'll see with time as time goes if it survived this devastation of the fire here but I'm happy to see that my peas did survive. They are still there in the box. Soon I'll be transferring them in a bigger box. Right.